performance by students and parents in the area of March Pass Parade and dance competitions to commemorate Nigeria's 53rd Independence Day anniversary. The premises ITV Radio at Glasshouse Benin City was a big hive of activities as students, parents and fun seekers occupied every available space. Speaking on the occasion, the federal lawmaker representing Uedo Federal Constituency, Mr. Razak Belo Osagi, called on parents to give proper training to their children and wards as they are the future leaders of the nation. Mr. Belo Osagi urged the students to study their books and pursue educational careers as that is the only basis to attain any political office in order to effect changes in the nation. When the teacher is talking to you, when you are in school, you must listen. And you must always work very hard, read your books, so that you can be first in your class. When you are first in your class, your mommy will be happy, your daddy will be happy, your teacher will be happy, your headmaster will be happy, and Honorable Razak will be happy. In his address, the general manager ITV Radio, Senior Eda Ogbede Unhose, thanked parents and schools for identifying with ITV Radio for the celebration of the nation's independence. The general manager who thanked the chairman managing director of ITV Radio, His Excellency Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Osawaru Ibenedio, for creating the platform called on Nigerians to collaborate with security agencies in tackling security challenges in the country. I want to use this medium also to call on all Nigerians to collaborate with the security agencies in tackling the security challenges in our country today. We should stop the shedding of innocent blood of whom wish to be alive today to contribute to the growth of their fatherland. As the saying goes, United we start and divided we fall. In line with the independence of Wewe celebration, various schools, Boy Scout, teachers and staff of ITV Radio took part in the March Pass Parade, while the general manager of ITV Radio and the federal lawmaker took the salute. There were various competitions which include children, adult and women dance, guillotine competition between male and female, and a host of activities to spice up the day. At the end of the competition in the March Pass category, Jaffid International High School came out first, New Camp Academy second position, and Evergreen Secondary School third. While in guillotine competition between male and female, Mr. Victor Osazua and Mrs. Queen Ogeva came first. While in the women and children dancing competition, Mrs. Lovett Asemota and little Gabriela Osayende came first. The board chairman, ITV Radio, Lady Celerina Ujomo, and a federal lawmaker, Mr. Razak Belu Usagi, led other management staff and well many individuals to present various prizes to the winners. Some winners have this to say. I feel very glad. I'm so happy that we took the first again. And thank you. I say thank you to ITV Radio and to our school, JF International High School, for giving us this great opportunity again. I'm very happy. We took the second at the poem. Love is the medicine we need. We want to say thank you to you people for giving us the privilege for us to be here. I appreciate the ITV management and even my school management that give us the opportunity to celebrate the independent in this place. I'm very grateful and I pray the Lord will promote the ITV station in Jesus' name. Well, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I thank God for this great day that I am once in ITV. Thank you very much for this show. And I pray to God Almighty that 
it will continue to go on more and more. Parents who were delighted at the outcome of the event express appreciation to the management of ITV Radio for putting together what they described as a wonderful event. They urged the station to keep the flag flying. I enjoyed myself. It was fun. Then the children, they make me laugh. It was really fun. Thanks to ITV. Uh, normally every year I do bring my ch children here. Uh, I think today is the best. And I appreciate it a lot. High point of the event was a cutting of Independence Cake by management of ITV Radio and other guests. Independence Owewe is held October 1st every year to commemorate Nigerians' Independence Day. Wellington Akodeja reporting.